now, but a West County task force is making significant progress in catching criminals. Only First Alert 4's John Kipper is in Chesterfield tonight, riding along with officers looking to protect businesses and shoppers. John? Yeah, Corey, the stores behind me, such as Target, are closed for the evening. That also means the officers that are working to combat retail theft, well, their work is largely done for the evening as well. But they're in these business parking lots every single day, trying to make sure they catch the people that steal from these stores for a living. The retail crime is absolutely out of control right now. Meet Officer Joe Brewer with the Chesterfield Police Special Enforcement Unit. He's cruising for retail crooks especially the ones who've made it a full-time job. I'll do mounds of paperwork to make sure the justice system at least is greased up to work right. He's one of about a dozen Chesterfield police officers assigned during the holidays to keep stores, malls, and restaurants free from thieves. We've seen similar efforts in De Pair, placing officers at West County Center during the holiday shopping season. The city of Chesterfield honing in on theft after 631 reports of larceny last year. They have certain things that they're, um, that they're especially trained to look out for. Thieves like to have a fast getaway. Brewer tells First Alert 4, backing into spots can be a clue. A big thing for uh, thieves is to back into like handicap spots. So we'll look for cars that don't have handicap lacquers that are backed into a spot. He's also building relationships with businesses like Go Toys, Games, and Calendars. I'll be out here Friday and Saturday. The owner's biggest issue? People stealing from these plastic bags. Because they're big and you can't see through them. At least <laughs> 10 pieces of clothing or more in one of these bags. Recent data shows Chesterfield cops cleared larceny cases at a 10% higher clip than last year. And as of the beginning of November, they've recovered $129,000 in stolen property. Numbers attributed to the special enforcement unit. They are a big part of that, uh, that puzzle as to why we've been so successful. They also point to new technology like flock and security cameras, helping officers pinpoint vehicles, precise locations, and tie them back to crimes. But the extra manpower and new equipment, police say they're making it as difficult as possible for thieves to steal in their city. Think twice. We're going to be out there. We're going to be proactive. Now, Officer Brewer also says that many store owners do report these crimes, but not every single one of them does, as some of them will simply write off the expenses. Now, police urge them not to do this, as it has many downstream negative consequences. Reporting live in Chesterfield, John Kipper, First Alert 4.